farm that you see behind me is my grandmother's farm, Gogomayembe, in Lower Guero Village, Zimbabwe. Today, my nephew runs it. There's such diverse operations that he and his family are involved in. There's livestock, where there are donkeys, goats, cattle, free-ranging chickens, turkeys, doves, and guinea fowls. And the garden has strawberries, onions, tomatoes, peas, and of course, kale. All the farming is done manually using a hand hoe. And the same seeds as we used 40 years ago are still what they use. When I was a child, the agricultural seasons were always the same. We planted our seeds on the 11th of November every year without fail. And after the autumn harvest, we would bring the food back to the city to feed our families. Since then, a lot has changed. As many of you know, a sustainable food system includes all the steps it takes to get an ear of corn or a side of beef from the farm to our plates and back to the earth again. Today, climate change is putting an enormous amount of strain on the food systems around the world. And farmers feel the effects of that strain most of all. Around the world, climate change has made summers even hotter and drier. And because the rainy season begins later for us in Zimbabwe, we now plant in January instead of November. And the, because these rains end even earlier, yields are now a quarter of what we used to harvest 40 years ago. Last year, the rains stopped just as the crops were about to ripen. So 90% of the farmers didn't harvest anything at all. And because these farmers did not harvest anything and are not covered by insurance, they may not be able to plant this year either. The other day, I heard a phrase that has stuck with me. If we don't succeed on food, we won't succeed on anything. That's why if we want countries to once again be able to feed themselves, something has to give. As Bill said, we need to develop new technologies. Let's take the issue of heat and drought tolerance. Bill talked about the drought-resistant maize, but plant scientists have also developed drought-resistant coffee varieties, which can help a critical part of many Central African economies become more resilient to severe water stress. Agriculture is not just about plants. Heat stress also affects animals by causing stunting, decreasing fertility, and slowing down milk production. Fortunately, scientists have discovered a naturally occurring mutation called slick. Its slick phenotype reduces coat hair so the animals can stay cooler. Through gene editing, we can rapidly introduce the slick phenotype into more animals, speeding up the work that nature has already started. And then there are aquatic food systems. Fish can be incredibly sensitive to heat, to cold, heavy rains, or drought, all of which are common and harder to predict because of climate change. So, a group of international organizations have dedicated, who are dedicated to food security have created an online calendar to give farmers in Bangladesh, farmers in India, more information about the local weather. Now, these farmers can make better decisions and their fish are more likely to survive. So we have the technology to adapt to climate change the sad thing is that we have not done enough to make sure the farmers who need these technologies 
can actually get them. That can and must change. On a global level, we need more cutting edge research into new technologies and how they can be adapted for different regions. At the local level, we need policies and programs that promote the uptake of these technologies. Almost every farmer in Africa now has access to a mobile phone. The question is, how can we help those farmers use their phones to learn about new farming technologies? And if farmers no longer plant on the 11th of November, how can we use predictive modeling, like Cynthia mentioned, to tell farmers exactly when to go to the fields? None of this is going to be easy. But progress is possible, so long as we don't merely develop new technologies. We need to get them to off to the people who need the, these technologies. We need to get them off the shelf into the fields. We need to take it to the farmer. Thank you. <laughs>